Have you ever woken up between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m. and just had no idea why you were woken up so abruptly? You just had no clue. You're like, you look over at your clock and you're like, dang, it's 3.05 a.m. <laughs> you ever have that happen to you? I know that that happens to me all the time. That's something that happens pretty regularly with me. And when I first started my spiritual journey, I actually had no idea what was even going on? Like, why can't I sleep at 4 a.m., right? And I know that you have that problem too, especially if you're on your spiritual journey, whether you're just beginning or you're in the middle of it, you still have this happen to you and maybe you are still unsure as to why it's actually happening. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm actually going to be explaining to you my perception on exactly why that is. So make sure you stay tuned. There's a couple different points that I'm gonna be making. I'm Jesse Everett and I'm a life coach. I've actually been studying the law of attraction now for a few years. I've gone on my own spiritual journey. Um, when my husband passed away about three years ago, I was thrusted right into my spiritual journey. I used to have no idea what any of this stuff meant. I didn't know what energy was. I didn't even know what a chakra was. But now that I've learned everything, I'm kind of here to help pass um, some of that information on to you just because I know we all are in that beginning stages. So thank you guys for coming. And today we're talking about what happens between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m. Sometimes you're woken up and you just have no idea. Like, why am I waking up at 3 a.m., right? Um, that happens to me all the time. It actually just happened to me last night. I was woken up at 3.12 and then I was woken up at 5.14. So it actually happened twice. Um, so what I do is I keep a journal next to the bed and if you wait, I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes exactly why I keep a journal next to the bed. I also keep water and there's a good reason for that as well. So let's just backtrack a little bit and let me explain to you why that's happening. So between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m., sometimes it's called the ghost hours or the divine hours or however somebody wants to label it, right? Um, that's basically just a time of night where the energy has calmed down a lot. It's really calmed down because everybody's sleeping, or at least most people are sleeping between the hours of three and five. Unless you're working the night shift, baby, <laughs> then you're probably awake. But other than that, most people are sleeping. So during that time is when you're gonna be awoken actually for messages to be sent to you. If you have a problem that you're trying to solve or maybe you're trying to manifest something and you can't quite figure out the way to get there, that's actually gonna be the time when um, Source or God, or whatever you wanna call him, Allah, um, is going to be trying to communicate with you. Also, angels and spirit guides will come through at that same time because it's, it's much calmer. Like, think about it. If you're on the highway and would you rather drive down the highway when it's really really busy and you're stuck in traffic or would you rather come and drive on the highway when it's just slow moving there's actually a couple of things that you're gonna want to do when that happens because you know you're not gonna be able to just lie in bed and then transmute the message okay it doesn't really work that way so what you actually need to do is when you're awoken like that and you want to stand up or not stand up, you want to sit at the edge of your bed like this and you want to put your feet on the ground. Just put your feet on the ground, that way you're grounded, your energy is nice and stable. <laughs> then you want to put your back straight up, I mean sit very tall. Because that's your connection straight to the universe, your spine, that's where all your chakras, chakras are. So you want them all perfectly aligned so that you can have a direct connection and get that message straight to you. Comment down below the last time you woke up at 3 a.m. And did you actually know what was happening? Are you familiar with this idea? Or did you have no idea and now you're like, whoa, my mind is blown. Comment down below because I'm really interested. And I wanna share with you what I was talking about about the journal, right? So I keep a journal close to the bed or a notepad or even just a piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. Because after you put your feet on the floor, what you wanna do is you wanna grab that notebook. And this is actually the notebook that I use. Um, I got this notebook at, mm, I think it was maybe Marshall's, I think is where I got it in Maine. I was at my friend Kendra's house and I got this journal and I love it and I've been using it um, as my dream journal for just a little while now. So if you, like if I open it, you can see how I journal in it, right? So whenever I wake up in the middle of the night, if I get any ideas or something I just go ahead and 
you know, <laughs> this one, I got a circle, so I drew a circle. Like, it can be anything, you know. This is how the divine is actually going. This is how the divine is communicating with you, okay? See, like, I even drew, like, a little flower, right? Because it's okay. It doesn't matter. Just, just write down or draw whatever comes to you. Some of the best plays and songs and movies and stuff are all written during this time because your mind is calm. Your mind is calmed down. And you're able to receive things a little bit better because your subconscious is really open because you've been sleeping. You've been, you've lowered your brain waves and you've allowed yourself to be more open. And so the universe is really excited to share those things with you. And remember I said that I also keep a glass of water next to my bed. So why I keep a glass of water next to my bed is because sometimes I've noticed that when I do get woken up in the middle of the night, um, during those times, I'm really thirsty. I'm really thirsty because you see, um, there's a lot of energy being exchanged there and so water is just really good to rehydrate yourself you know it's almost like you've been exercising right but you need actually that water to rehydrate you also sometimes messages are sent through dreams the you know your angels and guides and stuff are gonna come to you in your dreams and have you ever had a dream where it's really vivid and then you wake up and it's like three seconds later you can't forget any you can't remember anything you just forget it <laughs> that's why it's so important for you to keep like a journal or something right next to the bed so that before you forget it you can go ahead and write it down um, it's something that I've been doing for a while uh, well basically just since I knew why I needed to do it right so I actually learned this trick from uh, Master Sri Akashana I was watching one of his videos and I had no idea why I was waking up between 3 and 5 a.m. and I watched his video and I was like oh my gosh wow that makes so much sense that's why whenever I wake up, I feel like, you know, I should be getting up right now versus going back to sleep. And that's another thing is just make sure you're getting up. Honor their time because they have chosen you out of all of these people that they could have chosen to come and talk to and communicate with. They picked you. So honor that. Pay your respects. Write down your notes. Drink your water and then go back to sleep. You've done what you needed to do for that night. You know, I actually have a friend and his name is Brian and sometimes he's woken up and he's actually told that he needs to go out to the forest and meditate, you know, because they really want to communicate with him at that time. So, so you know, just being woken up and sitting down in bed is not too bad. He actually has to go all the way outside and, you know, that's when he gets some of his most powerful transmissions from his guides. It's, it's pretty amazing stuff. I'm really glad that you guys came today and we get to spend this time together each morning. It brings my heart joy and you know, it fills it with love because you guys are my friends and I'm really excited that you're here. After you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, YouTube does something really awesome and they actually notify you every time I put out a video so every morning you can know when it's come out and then you can kind of fit it into your day. I hope that you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Today out here in Florida, it's uh. It's definitely cloudy. I was sitting outside earlier just trying to gather my thoughts a little bit and it started to pour down rain on me. I mean instantly it was just no thunder, no lightning, no clouds moving in, nothing. It just all of a sudden started to pour down rain and you know I just took a second to breathe it in and enjoy it and then run inside. So I hope you guys also have a beautiful day and I hope that you're finding gratitude, living life to the fullest, loving everyone around you every single day. Bye guys.